Hello guys, welcome back to another Zazi Social Action Session. I hope you're well where you are and staying safe. My name is Lewis and I am the Social Action Lead for Zazi. And in this video, I will be taking you through an exercise that I like to use with the young people that I work with. It's all about finding out what grinds your gears and how you can use this to enforce or make a positive change. Sound good? Let's jump into the video. So today what we're gonna be doing is looking at two main things, or two main questions. What vexes you and how can you channel this frustration? So to begin, here are some questions for you to think about or consider. These are designed to get you reflecting about the world around you and how it may be impacting you. So what vexes you and why does it vex you? Now it's good to know what vexes us because you know it allows us to identify the things that are bothering us, but it's equally important to understand why we are vexed by particular things. Okay, so what this enables us to do is root ourselves in a problem or a situation and create a strong driving force for, vi for fighting against those problems or uh, issues that we have identified. So without a driving force, we lack emotional attachment to our quest and you know, where activism is concerned, you know, emotions are absolutely key and it ensures that you'll see a project right the way through to the end. So in terms of identifying what we can do about the things that we've identified, I think the first thing we need to do is, you know, deconstruct and remove any limiting assumptions we may have about our own ability to make change. Okay, so it's important to know that we are powerful, firstly, and that we can enforce change. What culture does or what society does is make people of color believe that we are unable to make change, that we are powerless. This is not true. There is always things that we can do, okay? Look at social media, look at the blog posts that people put out, look at the stories that people share on Instagram. We are powerful people and collectively, individually, we can bring about change with what we choose to put up on social media or how we choose to act. So it's really important to, you know, iron that home. You can do some things about what's bothering you. You just have to think about it and come up with ways in which you may attempt to tackle those issues head on. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you some of the things that particularly bother me, just so you can get some ideas as to what you may want to pursue when it comes to your own kind of social action quest. So for me, let's start with education first, okay? So this 4% on the screen is a statistic that reflects the number of BAME teachers in Bristol, across Bristol, by the way. So primary school, secondary schools, and higher education. 4% across the whole of Bristol. Big, big Bristol. One of the biggest cities in England, Bristol, okay? One of the most progressive, innovative cities in the UK, Bristol. To put it simply, guys, we need more teachers of color so we can see that position. You can see the career path of being a teacher as something that is accessible for us in our future. Okay. Another thing that bothers me, okay, compare that 4% on the previous post to this on the board right now. 300% or three times as likely to be engaged with or, you know, um, involved with the police to a certain extent. And that doesn't mean criminal activity, by the way. That means things like stop and search, being followed or like followed or watched because you are suspected of going to do something criminal or out of order or bad so you're three times as likely as BAME people to be engaged with the law in this way so there's not enough teachers in the classroom that look like us but there's plenty of people in the jailhouse that do or at least that's what culture makes us believe about ourselves okay because at the end of the day we're not all bad people we're not all criminals but society enforces this label on us that sometimes depicts us in that way so how does that make you feel as young BAME people? 
What I want you to do is I want you to make a note of those feelings either on paper or in your head and use that as a source of inspiration for identifying issues of your own that you may want to explore in terms of your own social action journey or social action quest. Okay, so those stats are some examples of what personally gets me vex. Now you may have listened or watched or, you know, digested what I said and thought to yourself, well, what's the point of fighting something so peak? Because it's everywhere, you know, underrepresentation in schools, overrepresentation in, you know, the the jail system, the the law enforcement system. Well, the answer is simple, guys. These things happen because not enough people speak about it or raise awareness of it. They don't let their opinions be known publicly. They don't fight for the things that bother them. They don't get themselves out there in the world. And there are ways to do it without putting yourself in danger, by the way, okay? Before you start thinking about, you know, oh yeah, but I'm in danger if I put myself in that in that place, if I put myself in that position. Not necessarily, because there are ways to peacefully protest. Zazi is a peaceful protest movement. We're not going out laying down people because they don't follow you know, what we think. We do it diplomatically and we do it very peacefully. And it's really important to note as well, guys, that not all institutions are bad at their core, okay? They just need to have their eyes and or ears opened to our experience. So here are some things that you can do to do just that. Firstly, okay, talk, air your frustration, raise awareness amongst your friends, family, engage actively in conversations about the issues that bother you. Secondly, collaborate. Zazi, for one, are always keen for volunteers to help, you know, expand our mission or align with us or to let people know about, you know, young people's experience in the community, outside of the community, okay? So if you're bothered by something, if something bothers you, chances are we are bothered too. So let's work, collaborate. Thirdly, educate yourself and others. Read about your history, learn about your history and not just what school tells you guys, okay? Because a lot of the time, the history that we learn through education does not give a accurate representation of how powerful we are as people, as we are as BAME people, okay? speak to your family, look on the internet, watch videos, read books. The amount of info we don't have available to us is a joke thing, it's massive. And it is this information that we can use to empower our people, our family, our friends, our culture to bring about change and challenge those in power. Okay, so we are moving towards the end of the video, um, you know, I hope you found it useful and what I really want to do to finish is to remind you guys of some things watching this, okay? Firstly, know that you are powerful. You can bring about change. You are that person that is capable and powerful enough to do so. I really want this to be clear to you guys, all right? You listening, you engaging are powerful and you can make change. It is in your ability to do so. So using your power and bringing about change starts with identifying the issues you want to address. And hopefully this video has given you an idea of what you can do to start thinking about this. So feel free to connect with us on our social channels. We are always posting educational, inspirational and entertaining content for you guys to, you know, tune into, to digest, to get involved in. Okay. But for now, I have been Lewis from Zazie and off the record, stay safe, stay well and I will see you guys soon. Also guys, before I leave, actually, if you found this particular um, notes on the side that I've been kind of using as a framework for me to talk to you guys, but also it gives you an opportunity to read along if you find my voice particularly irritating and you want to mute me, or you just wanna have a, a written version of what's being said, as well as an audio version too. So if you found this particularly useful, partic this bit right here, let us know in the comments or drop us a message and we will keep this in future videos, okay? Now I'll see you guys soon. Take it easy, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.